This video is on layer 2 and layer 3 switch. Like hubs, switches are the connectivity points of an Ethernet network. Devices connect to switches via twisted pair cabling, one cable for each device. The difference between hubs and switches is in how the devices deal with the data they retrieve. Hub forwards the data it receives to all ports on the device by broadcasting. Switch forwards it only to the port that connects to the destination device. It does this by MAC address of the devices attached to it and then by matching the destination MAC address in the data it receives. Switch knows when message is sent out for a particular workstation. It knows where the message needs to go and ignores all the other workstations. Switch can greatly reduce traffic on a network and therefore the number of collisions. And as you might recall, collisions occur on Ethernet networks when two devices attempt to transmit at the same time. And this lack of collisions enables switches to communicate with devices in full duplex mode. In a full duplex configuration, devices can send data to and receive data from the switch at the same time. Full duplex transmission speeds are double that of a standard half duplex connection. So 100 Mbps connection becomes 200 and so forth. There are two types of switch, layer 2 and layer 3. Layer 2 and layer 3 differs mainly in the routing function. Simply put, layer 2 does switching and layer 3 does switching and routing. The layers are adopted from OSI Open System Interconnect model. Layer 2 switch works with the MAC addresses only and does not care about the IP addresses. Layer 3 switch or multi-layer switch can do all the job of layer 2 switch and additional static routing and dynamic routing as well. That means a layer 3 switch has both MAC address table and IP routing table and handles intra-VLAN communication and packets routing between different VLANs. Other than routing packets, layer 3 switches also include functions that require to understand the IP address information of data entering the switch, such as tagging VLAN traffic based on IP address, instead of manually configuring a port.